All right, good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Powell here to go over our new ZLA lesson for April 21st. Okay, so again, we'll go to our screen. And you guys should be getting really well, pretty good at this by now. So I'll, I'll open my screen up larger. Go over here to courses. When you're in school, you have to go to Schoology. I mean, I'm telling everybody every day, go to Schoology. Check updates. So you'll have your update come up there, but we come over here to the left and go down to New ZLA for this assignment. One moment on New ZLA. And it's coming up now. So I'll go over here. Your assignments will pop up. I've been saying that every day. Mine's a little different. Okay, and they're coming up now. And we'll go into my class here. Think like a scientist. Uh, okay, so today's article is a little harder, so you're going to have to follow along with me and do the best, you know, we'll just do our best, we're doing our best. So it's called the conservation of matter during physical change and chemical changes. So you're going to have a right for the ELA where I put a sentence frame in here. It's just basically what's the central idea? What do you think? The, this is a little more difficult, so you'll see what's uh, the central idea of the text, okay? Um, and then you have your quiz. And then one science right, it's just what, what did you learn is different between physical and chemical changes? Just, just do your best on this one, right? You know, a couple thoughts, uh, and you'll see. Um, right here, so... It's talking about atoms are similar to building blocks. They are the tiny pieces that make up all matter. Atoms can join together with other atoms. When they do, they form molecules. The atoms that were in the dinosaurs millions of years ago may be inside you today. Same goes for atoms from a star billions of years before that. So the same matter keeps going through the world. Matter makes up everything we see. It's never created or destroyed. It cycles through our world. That's really hard to fathom, but it's true. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and make, takes up space. It's, it includes molecules, atoms, and fundamental particles. It also includes any substance contained in these particles. Matter can change form. Still, through it all, matter is conserved. That is, the same amount of matter exists before and after change. None is created or destroyed. This concept is called the law of conservation of mass. In a physical change, a substance's physical properties may change. However, its chemical makeup does not. It's giving you things about physical and chemical. Okay, consider water, for example. Water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Water is the only substance on Earth that exists naturally in three states. So it's the only thing on the Earth that can be in three different physical states. They are solid. Water can be frozen into ice, liquid that you can drink and then pour, and gas, vapor in the air. Okay? To change between these states, water must have physical changes. When water freezes, it becomes hard. It is less dense. Still, water's chemical properties remain constant. They, there are the same number of water molecules present before and after the change. How is water formed? To form water, however, chemicals must change in hydrogen and oxygen atoms. First bonds between atoms must break or form. These changes, this changes the chemical properties of the substances involved. Both hydrogen and oxygen exist naturally in pairs. These are H2 and O2, respectively. In the right conditions, these bonds will break. The atoms will join to form H2O, water. Chemists write out the chemical reaction as 2H2 plus O2 is greater than 2H2O. This equation takes, says that it takes two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen to, to, to form two molecules of water. 
notice each side of the equation has the same number of hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. In chemical changes, matter is conserved. This is likely when physical change happens. There is one difference though. The substance before and after the change have different physical and chemical properties. Okay, so a standard temperature and pressure, hydrogen and oxygen are gas at standard temperature. Meanwhile, water is a liquid. It is colorless and has no smell. Okay, nature is always changing. Many chemical and physical changes are happening all at once in nature. Matter is conserved in each and every one. Consider a stream flowing through a canyon. How many chemical and physical changes are happening? First, consider the water. From many canyon streams, the water comes from mountaintops. It begins to snow. Of course, the water did not begin there. It has been cycled all over the world since Earth first had water. So water, you know, we learned about the water cycle. It just keeps going and going and going and coming, just recirculating around the world. The snow must melt to join the stream. This is a physical change. As the liquid water flows through the canyon, it may evaporate. It turns into water vapor. This is another physical change. So water is clear example. So water is a clear example of how matter works. It frequently changes form, still it never disappears. Photosynthesis is a chemical change. Next, consider the plants living around the stream. These organisms use photosynthesis. They turn light energy from the sun into chemical energy. This is stored in sugars. However, the light energy does not produce the atoms in the sh those sugars. That would break the rules. It simply provides the energy for chemical change to occur. The atoms come from carbon dioxide in the air and water in the soil. Light energy allows these bonds to break and reform. Then they can produce sugar and oxygen. This is shown in the chemical equation for photosynthesis. And you can see it. The equation says that six carbon dioxide molecules with six water molecules together, they form one sugar molecule and six molecules of oxygen. So add up all the carbon and hydrogen and oxygen atoms on either side of the equation. In total, the sums are equal. Matter is conserved in this chemical change. Matter changes, but it does not disappear. Animals in and around the stream eat these plants. So animals eat the plants. Their bodies use the stored chemical energy in the plants. They use the nutrients in their food to make new cells. These repair and grow their bodies. The atoms for new cells must come from somewhere. Any food that enters the animal's body must either leave its body or become part of it. No atoms are destroyed or created. The bottom line is this, matter cycles through the universe. Chemicals has ob and objects change. However, matter does not disappear, appear or disappear. Okay, so you can see this is a little bit harder reading. So just do your best, try to read it and see what you can see that matter just recirculates. Like if, it, if there's matter in a plant, when a plant eats, when an animal eats the plant, part of the matter stays in the animal and part of it goes out in waste and it just recycles. And then another animal eats that animal and they get those particles and they use them. So it's just, it's a little uh, science for, it's you've probably not been exposed to it that much, but it's, it is, um, how it works. Okay, so we will talk to you again soon. Bye.